is a computer craft and today I'm going to teach you how to get Windows Arrow back in Windows 10. So this doesn't work for Windows 8.1, 8 or any other version of Windows. Any work for Windows 10, build 10,240. So if you're going to try on other builds, don't. Um, you can try on a, like a free build before the RTM, but I guess no one has that anymore. Everyone probably has the RTM build. So what you want to do is you want to go to your file browser and you want to open up the file which I've given you. So it'll probably be in your downsell folder somewhere. And you want to find the utility. After you find the utility, you want to go to and you want to open it with WinRAR or 7-zip. Or if you're using Windows 10, which I guess you are, you can just open it up straight away. But I recommend the user WinRAR. You just download it. Just visit their website and just download it. You want to go to Windows Drive C, and this is really important. You want to copy the error gloss folder into the Windows 8 underscore OS Drive C. I know it says Windows 8. I can confirm I'm running Windows 10. I don't know why it's um it's not updated for some reason. You can see my build too. Um, it's not actually updated. Uh, my name for the drives. I don't know why, but anyway. You want to air gloss and don't worry about these dumps. You can delete them if you want to. Um, so what you want to do is you need to find install x install x64.cmd. Go click on it and right click and run as administrator. I would like to make one thing clear. This does not work for 32-bit operating systems. It only works for 64-bit. That's why there's no 32-bit option here for the command prompt line, as you can see. The developer is planning to make a 32-bit version. It's not really any point because most of you don't have it. If you're not sure, you can go ahead and just type in system and you'll come up with this. You're going to click here um, on any three of these. There's now three of them in Windows 10. And it'll, it'll come up with your system um, your system specs and all sorts of stuff and it'll say. So what you want to do, after you're running that, you want to run the Aeroglass x64.exe now the first time it might do this and it might just revert back to the normal one so we're going to try again and try again as many times as you can now it's normally the second time as you can see um, but you do get the Aeroglass as you can see and it's not just Aeroglass like before like you know just make it totally transparent it's really cool Aeroglass um, you can also make it so it matches the system color, so it's green, as you can see. You can really see it sort of blurs out the background as I go over. So let me just open another window up to uh, make this easier. So here we go. As you can see, as I go over like the button stuff, it's sort of blurred away, but you can still really see that error glass effect. But just bringing back the Windows 7 feel to it. If you go back into the error glass folder, um, you can see the thing called error glass UI. So what you want to do to if you want to tweak it, um if you don't want it, it's fine. It's Windows Administrator and current user system wide settings. And you can go to gloss colours and you can select your gloss colours. Even the background so as you can see it's sort of uh, not as tinted green as you can see the front window. You can make that even red or any colour you want. But I like it to be like this. If you really want a Windows 7 style or some Vista style or something. Uh, you also got the glass reflection images. Now this does tend to crash, so I wouldn't say you to use it, but like you can, and you want to open up reflection.png. As you can see, it doesn't draw any ugly black boxes underneath the program, which some other things do, and it's really annoying. Like you get really ugly black boxes, just horrible looking. But that's not the thing with this, and I'm really um, it's, it's, uh, it's amazing how the developers have done this. So you must want to head to the link in the description. It's got no viruses. I can I can ensure you. I do have McAfee, so I've detected it or something. Um, it's totally fine. Um, now these many dump files. So basically, this is just um, a record of what's happened. Uh, you can just go ahead and delete them all. That's not going to do anything. So we go empty the recycle bin, um, and boom. Um, so now if you want to run this on startup, um, this is how you do it. So you want to go here and type in this. So you want to type in task and you'll come up with this app. You want to click on that. 
and you want to go all the way down to active class so i'm going to click on that and here's all your active class which you want to start up you want to add new ones click action create a basic start basic task when i click on that your computer might lag depends uh, well it doesn't depend it just happens for one reason you can name it whatever you want next uh, when the computer starts next start program program script uh, error glass. Now the thing with this is, if you're going to do this at startup, you want to make two instances of it. Is as you saw over here, it doesn't work on the first time. You have to do it twice before it works. Now be aware, this can impact your boot up times. So it impacted mine by 0 0.2 seconds. So my computer, rather than taking um, the normal time it takes to boot up, it took uh, 0 0.2 milliseconds longer. So you can see my bias time was 3.9 seconds because it's normally 3.7 or even lower, it's around 3.6 but because of this it take it took 0 0.2 seconds longer to boot up um, so yes so if you guys enjoyed this video uh, make sure to like and subscribe thanks for watching guys and bye